and communism and our own way of life were very much in people's minds, and he was speaking to that subject. And suddenly, though, I heard him saying, I love my little girls more than anything, and I said to myself, oh, no, don't, you can't, don't say that. But I had underestimated him. He went on, I would rather see my little girls die now, still believing in God, than have them grow up under communism and one day die no longer believing in God. That was the speech Caesar Ronald Reaganis gave before he attacked Russia. The Russian people were being brutalized by the government, communism being forced onto people as a religion. The Russian people were crying out to be Christians, but Russia wouldn't let them. They were to serve and praise the state, not God. The country was to be their God. Caesar Ronald Reaganis wanted to save the people of Russia. That is why he attacked Russia. That is what Rome does. We save countries from themselves, and we point them to the one true God, Jesus Christ. Communism will fall. Caesar has declared an all-out air assault on Russia. The 6th and 7th Legion will attack the border, while the 10th is deployed behind enemy lines. My mission begins now. All right, I've landed. Here we are. Oh, uh, where are my teammates? I bet we're strewn out all over the place. All right, that's the parachute taken care of. Let's go. I've got to find my fellow legionnaires. They're somewhere in this countryside. Well, I don't see any Russians around, so I guess that means my landing went unnoticed. Uh, might as well head this way. Lord, please help me find them. I don't want to be wandering alone through the Russian countryside for far too long. Please help me find them. Maybe they're over this hillside next to this group of trees. I hope so. Wait a minute. What's that? died down. I need to get out of here. What the heck was that? Was that Russians or Romans? I couldn't see who I was firing at or who was firing at me. What? <sighs> need a quick water break. This land has beauty. Too bad it's being choked by the evil that is communism. There, I made it out of the forest. I didn't see any of my fellow legionnaires, so I'll assume they must have went this way. I'm lost, so might as well go through here. I don't like it, because it's an open field. I'm just way too out in the open. I haven't seen any signs of Romans or Russians. Uh, I'm lost. I think I'm getting close to finding my fellow Romans. I found what look wait wait a minute. Ah, oh, 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 gosh, my gun. I've got to get it. Ah, oh, where did that come from?
come from? Oh. I think I managed to get away from the sniper. Oh, that hurts. Oh, my leg. Ah. Oh. Uh, I've got to... Got to do something about it. I've got to wrap it up somehow. Do I have any supplies? Oh, come on. Let's see here. No. Just letters and rations. Why didn't I ask for medical supplies at base? Oh, pain isn't there. Pain is temporary. Oh, gotta get this helmet off. Ah, oh, the pain is irrelevant. There is no pain. There is no pain. I guess I can wrap my... What was that? A patrol? I can't. Let them find me. I, well, I've still got a mission. This wound won't stop me. I guess I can cut some of my cape to wrap my leg. It'll have to do. There's nothing else I can do. That's it. I've got to get out of here. I'm hearing the sounds of a patrol. I've got to move. Oh, gosh, it hurts so much. Gotta work through the pain. Gotta work through the pain. Oh, oh. I'm a soldier of Roma. I have a duty to the world. We were charged by God to bring peace and order and civilization to the world. I can't let this stop me. I can't fail my mission. The Russian people are counting on us. I've got to get moving. I can't give up now. I can't give in. I'm sure the 6th and 7th Legion has broken through the border. They should be rolling through here any minute now, and they'll pick me up. They'll patch me up, and I'll get right back to the fight. I know that's what will happen. I know it. I know that's what will happen. Finally, exhaustion got to me. I had to sleep. I didn't care who found me. I had to sleep. Wait a minute. I don't feel any pain in my leg. Wait, there's no blood. There's no... what? There's no pain! What? What? <laughs> Let's try this out. What? What happened? Well, I need to push on. I need to find my fellow legionnaires. It's time to get going. I've wasted too much time as it is. dreaming. Where am I? It's okay, son. You're with the 10th. Your wound wasn't bad. We patched you up. The 6th and the 7th have broken through the border. I oh, thank the Lord. A couple days rest, and I'll be ready for deployment again. We're going to push farther into Russia. I hear we're taking a town from them. One step at a time, we will destroy communism.
Those who would trade our freedom for the soup kitchen of the welfare state have told us they have a utopian solution of peace without victory. They call their policy accommodation. And they say if we'll only avoid any direct confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love us. All who oppose them are indicted as warmongers. They say we offer simple answers to complex problems. Well, perhaps there is a simple answer. Not an easy answer, but simple. If you and I have the courage to tell our elected officials that we want our national policy based on what we know in our hearts is morally right. Alexander Hamilton said a nation which can prefer disgrace to danger is prepared for a master and deserves one. Now let's set the record straight. There's no argument over the choice between peace and war, but there's only one guaranteed way you can have peace and you can have it in the next second, surrender. Admittedly, there's a risk in any course we follow other than this, but every lesson of history tells us that the greater risk lies in appeasement. And this is the specter our well-meaning liberal friends refuse to face, that their policy of accommodation is appeasement. And it gives no choice between peace and war, only between fight or surrender. If we continue to accommodate, continue to back and retreat, eventually we have to face the final demand, the ultimatum. And what then? When Nikita Khrushchev has told his people, he knows what our answer will be. He has told them that we're retreating under the pressure of the Cold War, and someday, when the time comes to deliver the final ultimatum, our surrender will be voluntary, because by that time, we will have been weakened from within spiritually, morally, and economically. He believes this because from our side, he's heard voices pleading for peace at any price, or better read than dead, or as one commentator put it, he'd rather live on his knees than die on his feet. And therein lies the road to war, because those voices don't speak for the rest of us. You and I know and do not believe that life is so dear and peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery. If nothing in life is worth dying for, when did this begin? Just in the face of this enemy? Or should Moses have told the children of Israel to live in slavery under the pharaohs? Should Christ have refused the cross? The martyrs of history were not fools. And our honored dead, who gave their lives to stop the advance of the Nazis, didn't die in vain. Where then is the road to peace? Well, it's a simple answer after all. You and I have the courage to say to our enemies, there is a price we will not pay. There is a point beyond which they must not advance. This, this is the meaning in the phrase of Barry Goldwater, peace through strength. Winston Churchill said the destiny of man is not measured by material computations. When great forces are on the move in the world, we learn we're spirits, not animals. And he said there's something going on in time and space and beyond time and space, which whether we like it or not, spells duty. You and I have a rendezvous with destiny. We'll preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man on earth, or we'll sentence them to take the last step into a thousand years of darkness. We will keep in mind and remember that Barry Goldwater has faith in us. He has faith that you and I have the ability and the dignity and the right to make our own decisions and determine our own destiny. Thank you very much. It's We came too far to die So claim your death on this